Hello everyone, what's poppin? My name is Mr. Akri and last week I had a Q&A video because I earned 500 subscribers. I got a few questions, I think I have between 15 to 20 questions and I will be answering all of them in this video so you'll get to know me a bit more. In the background you are seeing some Black Ops 2 zombies gameplay from yesterday. I was playing on the map Mob of the Dead and um, I was actually playing with random people and we still ended up doing the easter egg which is kind of cool. But yeah, now let's get into the questions and answers. Hopefully I don't mispronounce anybody's name, I apologize if that happens. So the first question by Mr. Anderson, we'll start with the first one, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is definitely sushi. I love sushi, I eat it at least once in a month. Sometimes I even eat it two times a week. I just really love it. And I really wish I knew how to make homemade sushi. I would have made it every day. Your favorite game? Um, my favorite game? Well, my channel is based around Call of Duty, so the answer is pretty self-explanatory. But it is still a tough one, because I have so many games that I like. I also enjoy Resident Evil and Mortal Kombat very much, but Call of Duty will have to be my favorite. Your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie is almost impossible to answer. <laughs> I've seen so many movies and it's really hard to pick one, but um, okay, this one was really tough. Well, I've, I've seen the Scream movies at least five times each, so I'm a big fan of that movie or that series. I'm also a very big fan of the Harry Potter series, so yeah, it's hard to give a specific answer to that question. Next up by Mohammed Shadri. Um, I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced that. First question, what's your highest round in zombies? I don't remember my highest round exactly, but I remember that it was around 40 or 50 or 60, somewhere between those numbers. Um, and it was on the map Buried, which is like the easiest map ever. Okay, so the second question. Have you played with any YouTuber or run into a big YouTuber? Yes, I actually have, and it's actually a really funny story. It was a few years ago, around the time when Black Ops 1 was released, I played some Sticks and Stones, and guess who's in the lobby? White Boy 7th Street. He was talking in the mic and everything, now the funny thing is, I didn't even know who this guy was when I met him, I had no idea. Then a few days later, I, literally a few days later, I discovered some Call of Duty YouTubers and then I saw White Boy's channel and I was like, I recognize that name. Where have I heard that before? So I clicked his channel and I was like, I recognize that voice. And that's when I realized that I actually played with him. I remember that he left the game, I don't know why. But yeah, I have run into a big YouTuber. Next question by Enderscopes. What's your favorite zombies map and zombies wonder weapon? Um, my favorite zombies map is probably between Moon and Origins. Those are the maps that I've had the most fun with. So if I were to choose one for Black Ops 1, it would be Moon and for Black Ops 2, it would be, it would be Origins. I also love Mob of the Dead, that's a really great map as well. You know, whenever I get uh, what's your favorite question, I always give you more than one answer. I'm sorry, I'm just really bad at deciding what my favorite whatever is. And uh, my favorite wonder weapon is definitely the staffs from Origins. My favorite staff is the ice one. When it's upgraded, you can create this huge tornado or ice tornado that turns them into ice and kills them. I don't know if this counts as a wonder weapon because it's a buildable. So if it doesn't count as one, I would say the... probably the liquefier or the Paralyzer. One of those. Next question by Bin... Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna say Bin and Guyan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you think Advanced Warfare is going to have special killstreak like the MOB or the Nuclear? 
I will say that it is very likely because people seem to like that. The nuclear should be coming, if you mean the metal, because I've seen Merciless and Ruthless, so the nuclear should be there. I would love to see a special kill streak, but to be honest, I don't think there will be something like the MOB or the KEM. But it has been confirmed that there will be map streaks, which is kind of not exa not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar. So then we have the next question by Nick Madrigal. First question, do you think the direct energy guns from Advanced Warfare will be overpowered? Um, no, 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 and no. <laughs> I've seen gameplay of it and it's very underpowered. It takes a long time to kill people with it and it seems to be very slow and all the other YouTubers who play the game said that it is underpowered them themselves, so yeah, I don't think it's overpowered. Do you think Advanced Warfare looks like it's going to be like Black Ops 2 with better graphics? Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, it looks much more like Black Ops 2 than Ghosts or Modern Warfare 3 or any other Call of Duty, but I definitely see some differences that makes it its own game. It looks much more fast-paced, even more than Black Ops 2, and the exosuit kind of changes the way the game feels, so I don't think it's gonna be Black Ops 2.5, but I definitely think it will be similar to Black Ops 2 in terms of graphics and looks. The next question by Mohamed Auhar. Um, first question, do you think Advanced Warfare is going to have zombies? Um, no, I don't think they will have zombies. First of all, Michael Condrey have already confirmed that the tally marks seen on the Xbox controller has no relevance to the co-op mode. We know that it will be for players like zombies. I hope they have a horde game mode that is, that is round based, but I think they will come up with something completely new because Treyarch are making the next game and they will obviously expand on zombies, so it would be really weird for Advanced Warfare to do that instead. Do you think Advanced Warfare is going to be the best evolution Call of Duty? Um, that's really hard to say because I haven't played the game. I've only seen gameplay. Um, the exosuit will definitely be something that revolutionizes the COD franchise, but the game itself, I don't think so. Next questions by my Grange. First one, what do you do outside of YouTube? Outside of YouTube, I study mostly. I'm in school right now, my final year in high school, so I don't have that much free time. When I do, I make YouTube videos, otherwise I watch TV series or a movie or I go exercise or just relax. How old are you? I am 18 years old. When did you start playing video games? I started playing video games when I was around 4 or 5. I don't really remember because I was so young when I started. But I always played on my Game Boy and I was obsessed with the PlayStation 1 and then 2 and now it's 3 and 4. Lil Wiggy has two questions. What is your favorite COD and why? My favorite COD is Black Ops 1 and the reason for that is mostly because that's when I started playing Call of Duty. That's the first COD I ever played and it's what made me fall in love with the, fr with the whole franchise. And it also introduced me to zombies, which I was completely in love with. I even remember not being interested in multiplayer, so I only played zombies, but then I tried multiplayer and that's when I fell in love with it. Do you think Advanced Warfare will be like COD 4, where it revolutionized the franchise, or will it be good but doesn't affect anything, or will it be bad? Um, no, I don't think it will revolutionize the franchise in the same way that COD 4 did. I kind of answered this before, but I think they will revolutionize the way the game is played through the exosuits, because that's basically the only significant difference, really. And the jump between COD 3 and COD 4 was so big, and I don't think that the jump from Ghosts will be as big. So yeah. I definitely think the game will be good, it looks good and balanced and everything, and like I said earlier, there are many new things and these exosuits are gonna change the playstyle and that is what's going to make the game more different and fun to play, I think and hope. 
So the next question by Granjing, what equipment do you use to make videos? I use the Elgato Game Capture HD to record videos. I would really recommend this if you are planning to do YouTube videos, it's really good. And then I also have a Blue Yeti, which is the microphone I use to record myself when talking. And that's all the equipment I use. Roy asks, how do you look like? Well, I guess you will see that when I do a face cam. And I've been asked if I'm going to do it several times. And I can right now say, yes, I will do it. But when? That's the question. I'm not fully ready yet, but it's it will definitely happen when I am. Maybe when Advanced Warfare comes out, or maybe even when the next Treyarch game comes out. I really don't know when. Alex Logan asks your favorite zombie map in Black Ops 1 and 2. Um, I answered this before, my favorite map in Black Ops 1 is Moon and in Black Ops 2 it's Origins. Green Puddle asks, usually when you are busy it's because you are studying, so I was wondering what do you study? Um, yeah, that's correct. Where I live in high school you can choose different programs, there's economy, there's social science, there's art, etc. Um, I chose natural science and you're basically studying more of the science subjects, so maths, biology, chemistry and physics. And then of course you have the common subjects that everybody else has. Next question, which gun do you like the most in any COD multiplayer? Okay, this is hard to answer. Very hard because in Call of Duty I'm the kind of guy who plays with everything except LMGs. I've never really liked them. So it's hard to pick one specific gun, but I'm just going to say one that I really like and that is actually the ballistic knife and I know that might surprise you because it's definitely not the it's definitely not the gun I do the best with, but it's definitely a gun I use a lot just for fun. I love to run around using ballistic knives and tomahawks. I'm in love with that combination. If we're talking about like an automatic gun, then I would probably say the AUG or the AUG from Black Ops 1. And then we have a question by the Matrix fan. What is your top 5 favorite Call of Duties? Well, I've said that my first is Black Ops 1 and I explained why. My second is probably Black Ops 2. I had a lot of fun with it and I know it seems like I favor Treyarch over Infinity Ward, but that's the reality. I like Treyarch more than Infinity Ward. So yeah, but don't get me wrong, I still like Infinity Ward. My third is Modern Warfare 2. Great game and I think it would have been even greater if it wasn't for all the hackers and um, noobtubers. I didn't get to experience Modern Warfare 2 without the hackers and the noobtubers, but it was still a really fun game. My fourth is Modern Warfare 3. This game introduced Infected, which was super fun, and this game had a lot of new game modes, and yeah, I really like, like Drop Zone or All of Nothing. So this one makes it to my number four. My fifth is either Ghosts, COD 4, or World at War. And Ghost is not even making it to my list. Sorry, it's hard to choose between COD 4 and World at War because I have not played them so much, and when I play them, it's just hackers everywhere, but I'm going to say COD 4. I enjoyed it more than World at War, but again, I haven't played them that much, so it's hard to say. Then we have another question by Ben Wallace. Will you be playing Borderlands the pre-sequel? Um, I've never played Borderlands before. I don't know if I will, maybe, but I really doubt it because I don't have so much free time, so I can't play as much as I would like to. I only have time to play Call of Duty and if I'm lucky I'll play some other games that are coming out in the end of 2014 and 15, but I don't think Borderlands, the pre-sequel, will be one of them, because I've never really played it before. Then we have another question by Androscope, and I think this is his second question. What is your favorite COD? Um, yeah, I've answered this before, Black Ops 1. Um, then we have another question by Muhammad Awhar, and I think this guy asked another question as well. But he asks, what is your top three favorite YouTubers? Hmm, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is impossible to say again. I suck at favorite questions. 
I'll tell you three subscribers that I really, really enjoy watching. Or, uh, subscribers. I'll tell you three YouTubers that I really enjoy watching. I really like Al Ye. I have been subscribed to him for such a long time, and he was actually one of those YouTubers that inspired me to start my own channel, and I finally did it. And same thing with Whiteboy7 Street, I like him as well. Um, yeah, and I also very much like Vsauce, I love science, and this guy has some amazing science videos. And it's not like boring science, it's interesting science. If you haven't seen him, you need to check him out. And for my third, um, I would probably say Epic Rap Battles of History. That channel is so good, it's just so unfortunate that they don't make videos frequently because their videos are so entertaining, you should check them out if you haven't. And then we have someone asking why the name Mr. Aquary. Well, I was thinking about what I should call my channel and I wanted it to be something original, something made up by me. I didn't want something like The Cool Gamer or Let's Play Games or XX Darkness XX. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I looked for some inspiration and I found the name Aquarius. And suddenly Aquary popped up in my mind, I don't know how, but it did, and it sounded good to me, so I thought let's just stick to that. And then I added Mr. in the beginning, which made it sound even cooler to me, and that's how I came up with my name. It's very random, but yeah. So that's all of the questions I received, I really 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 hope I didn't miss someone. I think someone asked me a question on PS4 or PS3. But I couldn't find it, so if you're watching this, sorry. And after one week, I have gained like around 40 subscribers already, it's so crazy. And I want to say thank you to all of you who congratulated me for getting 500 subscribers. And yeah, I hope you got to know me a little bit better, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please support it if you did, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!